Working out the maximum weight you can tow legally in the UK is complicated. Having researched it extensively, I've simplified it to a checklist of five things you need to work out, which will be covered by these videos. Uh, these equally apply to other trailers, a caravan or a horse box. The five things you need to know are, one, is it a brake door and brake trailer? Two, what's the maximum load of the trailer? Three, what's the maximum towing weight of your vehicle? Four, what's the maximum towing limit of your driving license? And five, covers other legal requirements. Part two, working out the maximum permitted load of the trailer. One of the first things you need to do is work out how much weight the trailer can carry and there's a number of pieces of information you can use to find that out and they can also assist you greatly if you're buying a trailer off someone to make sure that every, everything adds up. A decent well manufactured trailer should have the manufacturer's um, trailer plate on the trailer which is a requirement by Vosa and it'll have a bit of information on there some will tell you the date of manufacture and will have the obviously the company details telephone number on there usually you have your chassis number and there's gross weight which in this case is 3000 kilograms and gross weight is the weight of the trailer and the load the maximum permissible weight of the trailer and its load so in this case a boat and trailer now underneath it'll tell you the max load so that's the maximum weight of boat I can have on this trailer in this instance and then it'll list the tires that the trailer has which apply to those weight ratings and that's important and I'll explain the tire weights and sizes separately. Another useful piece of information is if your trailer hitch tow coupling at the front of the trailer has a plate on it. Decent ones will have a plate. Now on this plate uh, it's a bit warm but this box here tells me that the maximum weight you can tow using this hitch coupling is 3000 kilograms and that ties in with my trailer plate weight so I know they're both good and honest. There's quite a lot of important information with regards to trailer weights that you can obtain from your tyres. Okay, you use commercial tyres with trailers generally and this is 8 ply radial that's what that means 185 is the actual width across the top of the tyre so in this case it's 185 millimetres R13 is the rim size which tells me that this rim is 13 inches across and then the important bit is these two numbers and this letter now 100 slash 98 Q these are the weight readings for the tyre and 100 means it's got a weight rating of 100 on a single axle trailer but it's only got a rating of 98 on a multiple axle trailer so in this case it's a twin axle trailer I've got the same tyres on each axle, so I've got 98 on that one, 98 on that one. Here are the load and speed index tables, but you can find them easy enough through a Google search. this particular tyre it also gives you some further information about the weight ratings it actually tells you you can have max load of 800 kilograms on a single and on 
on a dual you can have 750 kilograms and it tells you that they need to be at 65 psi pressure when you inflate them On a more substantial trailer such as this one, um, it comes as axles. So you'll have the two tyres, two rims, hubs, everything, all on one axle. And you can see these axles are quite thick. And I'm fortunate in this one that there is an information plate which uh, tells you a bit about the axle. And in this case, it tells me that each axle has a capacity of 1500 kilograms. So again, two axles at 1500 kilograms gives me a maximum of 3000 kilograms. And that uh, ties in with what the plate on this trailer tells me. So I know that everything's good and honest about this trailer. Another thing to bear in mind if you're buying a trailer and it's got a plate saying it can carry so many kilos on it is have a look at the steels on the trailer. Are they big chunky steels? Do they look like they've got good welds that they've been manufactured professionally? Or does it look like a bodge job that somebody's just welded up in a shed somewhere? And if you think the steel looks thin, I mean and you can see in this case these are thick steels but uh, some of the trailers have much thinner steels. For example, I wouldn't expect anybody to tell me that this trailer can take anywhere near as much load as the last trailer. The best way to work out if your trailer actually weighs less than its uh, gross weight or MAM is to take it to a weigh bridge. Pop it on the weigh bridge, put the handbrake on and take your vehicle away and then you'll find out the weight of your trailer and load. It's really important that your trailer is not overweight. As well as receiving points or a fine, the police or VOSA can prohibit your trailer. That means you can't move it until the weight is below your MAM. Imagine the cost of being miles from home and having to arrange alternative transport for your overweight boat. It could potentially cost you hundreds or thousands.